Oh, uh, hey. Goulash here, and welcome to another episode of... The Goulash. In today's episode, I'm going to be unboxing another BAM Box Horror. Yes, you heard that right. I honestly thought we were done getting these for free, but, uh, lo and behold, another BAM Box Horror. Now, in case you didn't know, we do get these for free, like I said, just to unbox. It's a sweet gig. I think this is February or January's box. We'll see. If it's February's box, it's gonna have some Valentine shit, okay? It's gonna probably have, like, My Bloody Valentine and... Okay, that's pretty much the only real Valentine horror movie. I know there are other ones, but there no one cares about them as much. No one cares about any Valentine horror films besides the two My Bloody Valentines, so... Don't even mention them in the comments. It, they they barely matter, okay? Anyway, let's open this sucker up. And I also noticed that this time around, they actually put the horror sticker on. Neglected to do that in the last one. Alrighty, let's see what we got inside. Okay, paper. Black paper. Not interesting. More black paper. Still not interesting. Still not interesting, okay. Here's the actual stuff. Okay, let's start out. Let's see what we got here. Hopefully this is cool. I really, really hope it's cool. If it's not cool, I'm gonna be sad. Okay, it is a thing. You know, I probably should be able to recognize this. I think it's from The Exorcist. It's been a while, I, I don't know. Is this from The Exorcist? Yeah, you know, it, it looks a lot like Pazuzu, but I, I'm not totally sure. It doesn't look a lot like the Pazuzu from the movie. The issue though is that it's like at a slant. So you can't stand it up on a table, it'll fall down. I feel like that's a fatal flaw when you make a statuette thing. I don't know how you're supposed to display it otherwise. It's a cool statuette, it's got some nice details, like it looks handmade too. You can't stand it up, like at all. You don't want to have it just lying down, looking up at the stars, you don't want to do that. Let's see what else we got here. Okay, gonna check out the pin. I'm pretty sure it's the priest from Salem's Lot as a pin. Salem's Lot, the original by Toby Hooper, it's it's a TV miniseries. It's not one of those things that you watch a whole lot. It's like three hours long. It, you gotta set some time aside to watch that shit, so it's been a while. But uh, it looks pretty cool. It's got like a green sort of lighting to it. Alrighty, and this is probably the cheapest thing in here, I think. It's a prescription for Hypnosil for Nancy Thompson. It has nothing inside it. It is just a pill bottle with something printed on it that says Valley Drugs, Nancy Thompson, one or two sleep anxiety, Hypnosil, 60 milligrams. Yeah, this is super cheap. They ordered these in bulk, most likely, and then they printed out a sticker to put on it that makes it seem like it's in the Nightmare on Elm Street universe. Yeah, this is just lame. Like, at least put some fake pills in it. Yeah, they, I'm pretty sure they pick the easiest props to replicate. But now we're on to the printed stuff. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Oh, it's Insidious. Okay, that explains why I don't know what it's from. Um, so yeah, it's, it's an Insidious piece of art. All right, let's see what we got here. Um, it is... Uh, two women. I don't know who they are. Let's see. It is Jen Soska and Sylvia Soska who directed American Mary. I'm surprised that they have, like, this kind of picture for directors of a movie. Like, they're not even, they're not the act actresses in the film. I mean, it's cool that it's directors, but it's a weird picture for directors. Like, I did not expect that. Like, there's nothing else inside besides this one-up thing that tells me... Congratulations, you got a one-up card. You have an upgraded or limited edition item in your box. So I got something good in this box. Very, very weird. Bam box horror. Uh, all right, to wrap things up, I'm going to answer a question for Goulash. That's me. The question is from the Dr. Terminator show. He asks, question, before you died, Goulash, what was your name? Well, you know, the funny thing is, my name was also Goulash before I died. And no, it's not. I... I don't know. I, I'd like to know, but I, I don't know. It's not something that Dr. Wolfula is going to fucking tell me. Otherwise, I'd leave here and try to find my family or whatever. I, assuming that I have a family, but I, I, <laughs> I think that ship has long since passed. I mean, anyway, make sure to subscribe to Dr. Wolfula and to follow him on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all that jazz. I've been Goulash, you fucking weirdo. 
Oh yeah, before I go, Dr. Wolfula wanted to make sure that I promote the Patreon page. Any little bit you can spare can help the channel out and keep us on a decent schedule. So if you have any spare change, why not give it to old Dr. Wolfula? He's making me make this gesture, by the way. Please, if you don't donate to the Patreon, he's gonna break my legs. Uh, not that I use them that much, but still, he's gonna break my legs.